Chuck Walker is back on track after physicians at UAB cured his heart arrhythmia. In 2007, Chuck's heart started racing, sometimes 100 to 200 beats a minute. The condition I had, I was born with, but it waited until I was 49 before it woke up. With the racing heart, not only did I have anxiety about when's it going to stop, but what's it doing to my heart? You know, I didn't feel very good. After unsuccessful surgery at another hospital and complications, Chuck wanted a second opinion. He chose UAB's heart and vascular services. UAB electrophysiologists are cardiologists who specialize in treating problems with the heart's electrical system. They diagnosed Chuck as having Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. He had an extra electrical pathway that allowed electricity to go down the normal way, but then would short circuit up this extra pathway and go down again. It's sort of like a dog chasing his tail going really fast. There are times where fluttering of the heart or palpitations can be something that's very benign that, that doesn't even require medicines. Or there could be times where it's life-threatening. Dr. Tom McEldry says a routine procedure corrected Chuck's heart problem permanently. Cardiologists performed a catheter ablation using radio frequency energy to cauterize or destroy the tissue that was causing the heart to misfire. I, want to go that way. I was ready to go right then. I mean, I felt so good. I was ready to walk out of the hospital right then. Overall, we do between 1,000 and 1,200 procedures a year. We have state-of-the-art facilities that allows us to offer the best technology available to our patients. In the EP lab, we have four fully functional EP labs with state-of-the-art mapping and recording systems. Some of the procedures performed in UAB's electrophysiology labs include ablations, cardioversion, and pacemaker and defibrillator implants. UAB electrophysiologists are equipped to handle the routine and the most complex cases. If you look at the, the volume of work uh, that we do that allows us to gain the experience in taking care of patients with these problems, the skill set and the resources that we have at, at UAB, I think that combination makes us uh, one of the better places in the Southeast to get your care. Developing and researching new treatments is always a priority. In the past year, researchers in UAB's electrophysiology department have had over 50 scientific publications accepted. This wealth of technology and experience gave Chuck Walker the answers, the cure he was looking for. No more medications and no more racing heart. I guess it's been fabulous. I mean, if I came across anybody that was considering any kind of procedure with their heart, I would tell them to go to UAB first. And if they've already been to somewhere else, go to UAB for a second opinion because it's well worth it.